On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzat, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia, but only briefly. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. The might of the Esfrostian forces, under the command of the formidable General of Lora, easily overwhelmed Glenbrook's crown city. Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Learning of the attack, House Wolfort, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is none other than young Saranoa, who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. At his side are Benedict, House Wolfort's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron War, Roland, the younger prince of Glenbrook and Saranoa's childhood friend, and Frederica, his betrothed, who hails from the very duchy they now call foe. A new war is kindling, fanned by the unwavering convictions held by the rulers of these lands. And though they may not yet know it, Saranoa and his comrades are heading straight into the pyre. Esfrost's forces have breached the once proud walls of Whitehall and now overrun its majestic halls, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. Like bloodthirsty beasts, they search, eager to carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on sight. With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance, Saranoa hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Cease the vainglorious theatrix. The city is mine now, and not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. You are all that remains. Not even the Dawn Spear can hope to triumph against such odds. You talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustadolf. What madness has possessed you? Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Regna. The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve? Do you think High Sand will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> you always did like imagination. However, 
Not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Hyzant, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom before long. Whatever your aims may be, you'll never... Father! Are you hurt? Roland? Brother? You imbecile! Why do you return? Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat! If it isn't my dear Frederica and her newly betrothed, and you've brought friends... Stand down at once! On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action. Sooner than anticipated. Action? What do you... Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So this is the lie. What mummery is this? Dragon was killed by... Silence, my lord. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He too must answer for his crimes. Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband-to-be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall you. I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your treachery. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating that history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Yes, my lord. Stop! I won't let you... Sir Maxwell, leave me! Take Roland to safety! <sighs> yes, my lord. My prince, with me! I can't leave them! Step aside, Sir Maxwell! My lord, we must flee at once! But his grace... Roland! Lord Wolfhart! There is no saving me! The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father! My prince, follow us. But I... Damn it all! After them. You would once again see Norzelia bathed in blood, Gustavo? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna. But it need be no longer. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with as frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father. Frenny, Cordelia. And what is she doing with us? She's with the enemy! What? No! I, I had no idea! Lies! It was your own brother that attacked the city! 
If I had any idea he was planning such atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. My lady speaks the truth. We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, Hewitt! We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the S. Frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. Hewett means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the Kingsguard were slain before her eyes. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Benedict, you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragon's death. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, our heads would already be on pikes. It would seem he still intends to put them there. Because you spat in the face of his demands. What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. Indeed, however, words have little substance on their own. Especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands, your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again, your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Wolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward, my lord, not back. There are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light, for these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay S. Frost low. Thank you, Benedict. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival. Thank you. 
My prince, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. Thank you, Sir Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Open the gates, Eridor! Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Over there! Ah, there's too many of them. We need to turn back. Give it up! There's nowhere to run! Damn it! They've shut us in! Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these ass frosty bastards with me! Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need to fend them off until then. Can we do that? I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge! Seize him! They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must find a way to open it, and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. My turn.
I see a path to victory. Wonderful. From where shall we strike? I shall protect you. Let me heal your wounds. Come at me! Time for some research. Allow me. Time to work. My turn. There is no mercy on the battlefield. We'll get him yet! I shall protect you. From where shall we strike? now before more arrive cool heads shall prevail
My apologies. Come at me! My turn. Now then, to work. For victory! I will end this. Oh, careless of me! <laughs> That's it? Oh, careless of me! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Ready for more! On my honor as the Dawn Spear. Just as I planned. My lord! Forward! My turn. I shirk from no danger! This battle is ours! I shall do what I can.
My apologies. Come at me! Come on! Where was I? On my honor as the dawn speaker. Oh, impossible! I see a path to victory. Shall we strike? My turn. It's open! Go! them escape! Capture the royal family! Kill any others who stand in your way! Protect the prince! No matter how many come, our blades will keep them at bay. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. If I still breathe, I still fight. Shall we begin? Try my level best. Incredible. My knowledge grows deeper. So it falls to me. Oh, careless of my turn. Where shall we strike? Ha! 
I will end this. Special thanks to my patrons Heaven Over Hell, Justin Wood, Hobbs, Koopy Vegeta, Gunrunner, and Water. 